Hello, in today's video I'll be showing you how to gap spark plugs with the three most common gapping tools that you will find. First we got our wire gap tool, which comes with a variety of different size bent gauge wire to use to gap your spark plugs. Followed by our coin style gap tool, which as you go around the coin, the thickness of the coin changes to match the gap ranges. Lastly, we got our gap gauge tool which also comes with six bent wire loops that come labeled in six different sizes per gapper. And here we got a spark plug, which is what these tools will be used for. So our gap is the space between the ground electrode, which is this top piece, and the center tip that you see in the middle. And not all gaps will be the same, and not all spark plugs come pre-gapped to the specification that your vehicle requires. And even if they are pre-gapped, they should always be checked, because the last thing you need is a misfire or your engine running bad due to the electrode on one of your spark plugs that's been closed due to some odd reason. So where can you find this information for your vehicle's required gap? Well, the easiest way is to use your vehicle's manual and go into the specifications. And here you will come across information like oil capacities and any other required service information like spark plug gap. And we find it based on the engine like in this one. It's got the 3.5 liter and it requires a gap of 0 0.042. Although in some cases, like if you're installing engine mods or adding a power adder like a turbo, your stock gap will not be the best choice because with more power it can increase cylinder pressure causing your spark to blow out while too small of a gap can make the engine run very rough and weak. So let's get started with our first gap tool. As you can see this one has a variety of different sizes each labeled to its corresponding gap measurement ranging from 0.02 to 0.04. It also does have the millimeter measurement on the opposite side in case you were wondering. They can be a little hard to read as you can probably tell on camera unless I angle the tool. They do make different gap tool ranges, and these sizes in particular are mainly needed when an engine is modified or has a power adder. But anyways, let's continue. I'll put away all the sizes minus the gap tool portion of the gapper and the .035 which I'll be using. That's if I could find it, that is. There you are. Now back to our spark plug. This spark plug I believe comes pre-gapped in a .035. So first let's go ahead and check this and confirm it. First let me go ahead and tighten this nut because it feels a little loose. That should do it. Feels much better. When checking the gap you want the tool to barely rub in between the tip and the electrode. And as you can see this one fits nicely in between with just a little rub, meaning the spark plug matches the 0 .035 that it should have. So let's say you needed to either bring down the gap or open the gap. You'll want to use this metal gapper piece, which has two different sizes depending on the thickness of the electrode. You'll want to slide it just behind the tip on the ground electrode, and to make the gap smaller you'll want to tilt the tool forward, and this will make your gap smaller. Now to increase the gap size, you'll want to slide the tool in the same spot, but you'll want to push the tool slowly back, opening the gap. Well let's check our gap now and see where we're at. And it looks like we got the gap almost to the same spot. Let's continue on to the next gap tool. And next we got our coin style gap tool. And as you can see on this one, it has gap measurements all around the gapper, ranging from 0.020 to 0 0.1. To take a gap measurement with this tool, you want to slide the spark plug in at the smallest opening and slowly move it across till the moment you feel the spark plug stop. Based on this reading, we are at a gap of 0 0.035. You want to use the middle reading that the ground electrode points to. Do not force it across or use this to force it into the gap you want. It can break or damage the spark plug tip. This tool does have a gap opener, but it's not good at all. It can break the spark plug tip if you're not careful, but to use it, you want to slide the ground electrode in between this hole that says gap opener, and you'll want to angle the spark plug. But as I said earlier, you need to be careful with the tip and make sure that the spark plug is low enough to not damage it as you angle the spark plug back to open the gap. Now 
Once you get it in position, just tilt the spark plug back and it will begin to make the gap wider. Let's go ahead and check what we increased the gap to. And it looks like we got a reading of about 0 0.046. Now to bring the gap back down, you can use this tool to push against the ground electrode to bring it down, but it's not the best way. Although it will take effort. Let's see what we got it down to. Well, it looks like we're back at 0 0.035. Well, maybe 0 0.034. It was close. Let's continue on to our next gap tool. Let's bring back our spark plug once again and our last gapper. This gap tool is almost like the first one, except this one feels more sturdy and it has six gap options per piece instead of the nine I believe the other one had. Starting with the 0 0.035 gap measurement, you can tell it's getting caught on it. So it's probably at the 0 0.034 like our last gapper said it was. To open it, it's just like the first gapper. You slide the metal bracket behind the tip onto the ground electrode and push back. And that leaves us with a gap measurement of close to 0 0.045. Now to bring the gap back down, same deal, but angle it down instead. Putting us at a gap of 0 0.035, which we originally started at. Well, let's go ahead and use our gappers one final time to check all three of the spark plugs to verify our desired gap. For the first one, we want our original 0 0.035 gap. And this one looks to be spot on. On to the next one. We want this gap to be 0 0.055. Since this spark plug is copper core and more conductive, it can handle a wider gap than the car originally is gapped to. This one's at about 0 0.054, which is pretty much the gap we want. Now for our final spark plug and our final gap. We want this spark plug to be at 0 0.040. It's fairly close, but it's a little tight, so I may require it to be opened a little, but don't want to make this video too long, so I'll just leave it as is for now. So on a final note, these coin style are my least favorite, but they are the cheapest priced and easiest to find, but I wouldn't use them on iridium or any small tip spark plugs. This one here comes second because of how flimsy it is, but it's still a good option to gap your spark plugs. But this one here is my favorite, and the only negative is the fact that you only have 6 options to choose from. Well I hope you were able to find this video helpful and informative. If you did please click that thumbs up button to support my video and my channel. And please subscribe if you haven't done so.